Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll talk about clients, how to manage them, add them, delete them, and create organizations. So first, let's go to the clients tab. Here you will see all the clients. Of course, in your workspace, this tab will be empty. From here, you can add clients manually or invite them. There are many ways to add clients. So the first one is the manual way. You can click add client and here we can add a client directly. So I will put in my details. Here you can specify if you want to send account verification by email. What this means if once you hit add client, the verification email will be sent to that email address. So. If you, for example, add this client manually to set up their requests and account before you let them know that they were added to the platform, uncheck the settings so they won't be notified. Otherwise, they will receive emails, they will be able to click it, set password. So uh, this is not something you want to do if you don't want to notify your client. I will leave this as is. Uh, you can upload their avatar and fill all the other details that are not mandatory. Of course, make sure to uh, fill at least their country. This is really useful because in the future, once you try to build them, uh, you won't get a billing error because we require at least first name, last name and country for you to be able to uh, send a quote or uh, issue an invoice because we need those basic details. Okay, I will hit add client. Client has been added. And as you can see, it is unverified. Each account has to be verified because of the security reasons. So you cannot spam an email address that hasn't been verified. But due to a lot of requests from you guys, we have added a manual way to verify the account. So you can copy verification link here and you can verify it yourself by going to the link or I will show you the proper way, which is here. I received an email. I will copy the link because I need to go into incognito mode because otherwise I'm already logged in into a platform and we are trying to simulate a client. So yes, this will provide us with a verif verification code. I can set up my password as a client, click sign in, and the system will let me in. This is a client view. Uh, we can close it for now. Go back to our Zendo. When we refresh the client's tab, the status is verified and you can see that the last active status is a few seconds ago. Okay, so this is one of the ways to add clients. Other you can use is copy invitation link. This link basically lets anyone with the link to register. So you can, for example, share this link through an email blast for your existing clients if you want to onboard a lot of clients at one time, or you can send it uh, on chat, if you use Slack with your clients or Discord or I don't know, Teams, the world is your oyster. You can, you can do whatever you like with this link. Of course, we do not recommend posting it on some public forums of stuff like that, because this will allow for any user to register with your platform. Even if your workspace access settings is set to invite only, this is what it means that you need to have the invite link to be able to access the platform. Okay. Uh, you can also send an invite. So here you just paste an email address and you can hit send invite. Yeah. The invitation has been sent. Okay. So, uh, those are the basic ways to add clients. So you can add manually, you can send an invite link or you can send an invite email. Also, you can easily edit client profile. So, for example, you can change their password if you need to. You can upload their avatar. You can, you can even fill out their details. And also, if there is any issue with their billing details, you can override them. 
Okay, you can also delete accounts. So if for some reason you need to delete an account, you can do that. What's also awesome about Zendo is that you can impersonate client. What does this mean? It means that you can view the client portal through the client's eyes. So you can kind of switch accounts. When we hit impersonate, it will redirect us to the client dashboard. The client is Obi-Wan Kenobi and we can here see a ribbon that says you are viewing an account as Obi-Wan Kenobi and here we can hit switch back. As you can see, the sidebar looks different because we, in the settings, set uh, the sidebar to have a different look for agents than clients. And you can do pretty much everything that the client can. Of course, when you try to pay for the service, you will still need to provide their payment details. So this is not like one of your agents can use this to spend clients money or something like that. No, they can do it to, I don't know, submit a request or reply or create an organization, for example. So what are organizations? Organizations are teams of clients. So for example, let's say you have a client that has a PM, a designer, and some other people involved in the project you are doing with them. With organizations, they can all see the same requests, the same details, use the same subscriptions. So uh, they will be under one team. Let's see how this works. So uh, let's hit create organization. Yes, you are about to create an organization. An organization will transfer all your requests and files to that organization. So everyone who joins an organization, every previous interaction they did with you through Zendo will be transferred to this shared account. The organization can have a specific name. Here in this example, we have Obi-Wan Kenobi team, which is a default name, and we will leave it at that. Below, we can update an organization logo. So, of course, I will choose a Zendo logo. Next, below that, we have a members list of the organization. Obi-Wan Kenobi has a crown icon next to his name because he is the owner. Below that, we can invite new members through email. So, we need to know their email. Uh, this is a security reason. You cannot uh, search members by name. And also you need to make sure that those users have previously created Zendo accounts uh, and also make sure that those Zendo accounts are uh, created at your workspace and not just any workspace. It needs to be at your domain. Below we have uh, billing details. Those details are shared across the organization. So anyone who is a member of this organization and will purchase something, those details will be used for uh, that. So let's invite a new member. I will use my email address and send invitation. Okay, so we see that the invitation was sent and the status is invited. So let's uh, accept the invitation. Okay, Obi-Wan Kenobi invited you to join Obi-Wan Kenobi team. Go to dashboard. I will again copy link address, open an incognito tab, go here. Yes, and I need to log in because we are in incognito. So this means that we, the user is not remembered. I will log in. Okay, here we go. Obi-Wan Kenobi invited you to Obi-Wan Kenobi team organization. Accept. Okay, and as you can see, because Obi-Wan Kenobi had requests previously with us, I now, as a Cuba guy, can see his requests. So if I go here to one of the requests,
I am able to participate and not as Obi-Wan Kenobi, but as Kuba guy. Of course, in the request details, we can see that Obi-Wan Kenobi is the owner of the organization is and is the original poster of this request because he was the one to file the request through Zendo. So now let's switch back to our agent account. So here we click switch back. As you can see on the client list, it shows us that both of those users are from Obi-Wan Kenobi team. If we go to requests and look for the one, I think it's this one. Yes, here we can see that Kuba guy sent a message. Also here we can see the organization and organizations have their own profile. You can view all their requests, all their active subscriptions or not even active because this one is pending payment. Their quotes, invoices, files that they shared with you and also organization members. The same is true for a single clients. Each client have their own profile. So if you click on one of those names, you can see the profile of Max here. So it's pretty much the same as for an organization. So you have requests, subscription quotes, invoices, files, notes, etc. You can impersonate them from here, edit their client profile quickly. Those are the basics regarding client interactions. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. See you in the next one. Cheers.